Dear colleagues, uh, good morning. For starters, I'm here to extend my heartfelt thanks to the organizers. My presentation will be about oncoplastic reconstructive surgery in patients with breast cancer in St. Petersburg. Before getting down to the dry statistical information, I would like to highlight in some historic aspects. Uh, the prerequisites for the appearance of oncoplastic surgery uh, were the works published in 1980s, which proved the safety of uh, organ sparing surgeries and breast cancer. They needed best aesthetic results and best life quality after the surgery. That those results, outcomes after um, milk gland uh, sparing uh, uh, surgeries were not very satisfactory for surgeons and patients. That brought about more sophisticated surgery methods. Uh, it's uh, plastic surgery and oncosurgery to prevent deformations, uh, which evolved after standard uh, organ sparing surgeries. Retrospectively, historically, it's hard to evaluate whereby for the first time mammoplasty started to be used in organ sparing surgeries. According to literature, one of the founding fathers of longer plastic surgery was um, Werner Aldrich, German surgeon. Uh, he's in Dusseldorf now. Uh, he uh, studied longer plastic surgery, specific interventions to remove tumor with instant transposition an instant uh, reconstruction after a complete mastectomy. Unfortunately, most of the surgeons uh, didn't think it would be good because most of them thought that this approach is only good for organ sparing surgeries. By the same token, a big contribution in oncoplastical surgery development was made by French plastic surgeons such as Jean-Yves Petit, Jean-Yves Bobin, and Michel Abbas. In 1993, Galimberti, National Institute of Cancer in Milano, published the uh, trial on the basis of 37 cases of patients with central chondroectomy with instant reconstruction of milk gland using oncoplastic surgery. And uh, that study showed that despite uh, uh, the bad location of the tumor, no, it was possible to preserve the shape. And then in 2003, Claude from the Institute of Curie in Paris published the study of 101 patients demonstrating that oncoplastic surgery could do big resections in all the quadrants of um, milk gland without uh, compromising the static view. The largest change in 1980s was the joint concept of two different surgical uh, specialities which have got uh, contrary uh, goals. Traditional plastic surgery and oncosurgery of milk gland were two absolutely separate um, surgical specialities. The problem was related to the fact that if for a plastic surgery, primarily a static component was very important for oncological surgeon, uh, safety is of paramount importance. And it was not always when plastic uh, component or a static component could increase the relapse at milk uh, gland, uh, at breast cancer. But after uh, mastectomy was preserving alver nipple complex is getting more and more popular, so the initial concept of Aldrich was quite right. And we should not confine ourselves only to um, organ sparing uh, surgeries. So now there is a great progress. Over the last 20 years, they were not going hand in hand. Uh, but now the situation is different. This slide shows in the upper portion uh, 
uh, we show the changes uh, in plastic surgery. The methods are more sophisticated and complex now. It's a plethora of different uh, patch interventions as to oncosurgery and oncology, mostly it's individualization of patients, individualization of treatment, and reduction of the volume of intervention, a new adjuvant treatment, uh, and the appearance of new systemic therapies. It's molecular profiling of a tumor, which impact the individualization of treatment. And in surgery, it was very important to take on board signal biopsy. And only oncoplastic surgery, which uh, evolved uh, uh, by the 1990s, enabled uh, surgeons to join those two specialities which were diverging first. Uh, and nowadays, oncoplastic surgery could be perceived uh, as a good radical oncological resection of mastectomy with uh, subsequent instant reconstruction of uh, breast uh, and contralateral milk gland with symmetric surgery. Uh, at the outset, when oncoplastic surgery evolved, uh, it was confined to uh, several surgeons. In the 1990s, those surgeries were done in cooperation between oncosurgeons and plastic surgeons. Gradually, the methods were improving and advancing, so oncoplastic uh, was transferred from concept to approach, then to a group of standard surgical methods. But. Uh, Majority of the specialists uh, in uh, uh, Mel Gland uh, have to figure out who should do oncoplastic surgeries oncologist or oncosurgeon. Oncosurgeon could be through the expert express courses on plastic surgery or those who were went through the specialization and training in plastic surgery or plastic surgeon. Uh, in order to sort this out, it's necessary to identify three categories of surgeons in oncoplastic surgery. First category is pioneers who started doing those surgeries as far back as 1980s, 1990s, uh, after the proven or uh, the safety of organ sparing surgery was proven. Second category is surgeons who were trained by those pioneers or uh, who were trained at the plastic surgery units in order to get the training in plastic and reconstruction methods. Category three, it's a new generation of surgeons who receive this uh, training into specialities. And Russian Federation, in most cases, it's oncologists, uh, medical doctors with extra specialization on plastic surgery. Uh, uh, but when uh, they come along to oncology, they come along after plastic surgery. Nowadays in Europe, there are two major models around. It's either a surgeon like two in one in France, Italy, and England. They developed uh, programs of uh, sepansy in surgical treatment of uh, breast cancer to train competent surgeons to conduct all the surgeries in milk gland cancer. But both in Europe and in North America, mostly, the role of plastic surgeons yet is very important, especially for constructive surgery of milk gland. These are two models which are also present in the uh, clinics of the Russian Federation. And nowadays, uh, all the benefits of it, and I'll highlight them later on. But as regards oncoplastic surgeons, specialist who performs both interventions, uh, as one person, the assets of it is more inter effective interaction between patients and doctor and simpler time management for planning of surgeries. Within one clinic, it's not always too uh, easy to find time for surgery. It's the reduction of cost of surgical intervention, which is very important when surgeries are done as charitable services. And it's uh, more clear cut uh, uh, responsibility and liability for surgeon for post post op treatment and potential complications. Uh, and what's important as well, it's much less equivocal when. Uh, 
difficult, different medical legal problems arise. When oncosurgeon and plastic surgeon work in a good team, it's better planning, mindful of cosmetic results in involved uh, milk gland and contralateral breast as well. The School of Plastic Surgeons uh, provides for better aesthetic results. Uh, maybe there are some uh, uh, versatile oncoplastic surgeons as well, but mostly for plastic surgery, I mean aesthetic results, and they are more apt at that. And by the same token, the presence of experienced plastic surgeon provides the oncologists with the ability to do interventions even in those cases when they have uh, uh, to incise very massive volumes of tissues, not always when all oncosurgeons mass the methods of pre plastic or in pedicle, and uh, sometimes it's challenging for them to cover big defects. In this slide, you can see morbidity of breast uh, cancer in our city between 2007 and 2019. Over the span of the last five years, the number of identified cases is in excess of 3,000. Mortality, by the same token, is above 1,000. And mindful of the structural mobility and mortality, breast cancer is number one. The increment of mobility over a decade went up to more than 30, 30%. Stage 1 and stage 2 are met in 72% of cases. Stage 3 and 4 in 27 plus, plus 5. One year mortality 5.4, uh, five year survival 63.4 out of the cohort of patients observed in our city. It's more than uh, 30,000, about 20,000 women lived for more than five years. It's a cohort of women whereby we can say it's benign outcome and the issues of aesthetics and life quality for them are important. In our city, we can identify two major categories of medical institutions. The ones which have specialized units is the uh, city oncological uh, center, clinical scientific practical center. It's federal, federal national uh, medical oncological center named after Petrov uh, and included into this group, University Immunological Center of the First Medical University of St. Petersburg. A part of those institutions, oncoplastic interventions are done at the medical military medical academy and in the Hospital of Russian Academy of Sciences and Americom Clinic and uh, Medical Sanitary uh, Unit uh, 102 Center. Last year, about uh, more than 1,400 cases were identified. Grade 1, grade 2, 75 percent. Uh, grade 4, grade 3, grade 4, 24 percent of patients. The total number of interventions was uh, 1,280. Uh, 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 it was radical mastectomy and res, uh, reconstruction. In 50 percent of cases, uh, those were organ sparing surgeries. The percentage of oncoplastic surgeries, unfortunately, I'm here to say it's rather low, only 8%. As to the Clinical Scientific Practical Center, uh, the interventions were about 1,200. Uh, and having said that, I should like to highlight that in that institution, mostly they did uh, instant surgeries in 118 and less uh, later stage breast reconstruction. Uh, but uh, it was uh, a not very high percentage. Uh, more instructive uh, is the activity of Scientific Research Medical Center of Oncology named after Petrov, whereby the total uh, number of uh, interventions was uh, more than 1,200, but the reconstruction share was one, 591 case, but the total percentage of oncoplastic surgery mounted up to 47%. That is the uh, city. 
centers, state institutions uh, should progress along those lines as well. And there is quite an attra- quite a positive situation in Zong- with oncoplastic surgery in the University Mammological Center, whereby the total intervention case was 465. Uh, yeah, the total share of oncoplastic surgery was about 60 percent, and in that institution, there is very high uh, share of the postponed, uh, not instant reconstructions of breast surgery. Oncoplastic surgery is getting more and more available method, which is at par with organ uh, sparing uh, uh, interventions, but provides for better. Uh, uh, aesthetic results. Uh, it's better if this uh, on plastic surgery are done in specialized units by oncologists with specialization of plastic surgery. But yet there are lots of issues related to funding uh, in uh, uh, quoting uh, and uh, a compulsory medical uh, um, share medical insurance. Uh, it covers uh, only uh, one prosthetic done uh, on the affected breast. Uh, but actually, we should develop more oncoplastic surgery now, sitting for future. Thank you for your attention.